mm. first card, which is obviously your debut season at Leeds. I went on the pre-season tour after doing well with an England youth team. I think we won a Euros. Played the second game. I came on the first game of the season and then from then just played the rest of the season. So, yeah, it was a kind of whirlwind thing for a, for a young player. So what was your debut like? Because was it, was it Millwall away? I came up like 20 minutes and I'd give a pen away after like five. <laughs> Are you joking? Yeah, he dived as well, but... From an outside perspective at that time at Leeds, I mean, it seemed like there was a lot going on there, particularly with the owners and stuff like that. I wasn't used to anything else, so it was kind of just, I just want to play as many games as I can as a young player. And the chairman at the time took a liking to me and wanted me to play play the games and stuff like that. So, yeah, it was, it was turbulent times, a lot of managers coming and going. Like I say, one minute I'd be in a CDM, and then I'd be playing on the wing, playing cam. So next season, uh, you've gone up to a silver. Pace has gone up a lot. Better card. I don't know about the picture though. <laughs> was it a lot of pressure, kind of, with the expectation that the club needed to get back to the Premier League at some point? Yeah, definitely. Especially in the last few years, that they've been in amongst it. I was kind of the lucky one because, say, if we did lose a few games, I was the young, the young lad who was was playing. And I kind of got away with it. Obviously, when you get young, you get away with some stuff. But I noticed as well that you and Calvin Phillips kind of came through at similar times. It looked like you were kind of, well, had the nod over the, over Calvin for those first couple of seasons. Yeah, we played loads of games, did score together and, and the pro, so yeah, it was, it was great. Obviously, to see what he's doing now is, is great and he's a, a top lad with a great family, so. Obviously, you moved, moved to Bournemouth. Was it tough, obviously, leaving a club that you've been at for, for so long? Yeah, it was really tough. It was one of the toughest things I've done. Like you say, the, the club at that time was in a bit of a, a weird place with um, the last two seasons, so. An opportunity to play in the Premier League was, was hard to turn down. Was it Jack Wilshire was on loan with you guys uh, that season? Obviously that season, obviously I didn't play as many games as I'd like, but it was a big learning season. We did a lot of extras with their staff. Everyone knows he's a top, top player and what he can produce on the pitch that he's done. And I, I really liked how he ran with the ball and protected it at the same time. At the end of that season, uh, England under 20 World Cup. Obviously, you were a captain, I believe, as well. How proud are you of that and also just how well that England did? Yeah, it was a massive, massive achievement for me and, and the team. It was a great time. It spent a lot, a lot of time away from home, but the lads were great and, yeah, we got, we got the job done there. How important are uh, kind of youth national teams? I don't know whether they get the recognition that perhaps they deserve in terms of how they allow players to grow. Well, yeah, you can see now, I think the pathway to the first team is definitely there. We've had a lot of players make their debuts. Obviously for me, when I was like I say, for my debut for Leeds, it was on the back of, I think we won the Euros, under 17s. Three for 18. Passing's improved, um, but pace and dribbling have both dropped down a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I'm shiny there, so I'm happy with it. Four-star week, but three-star skill moves probably means I can do a, a chop or a Maradona, so I'll take that. <laughs> what made Bournemouth during those th those years such a, a force in the Premier League. I think I don't know if that was the year where we used to we had that will to win. We kept, I think we came back the most. The year where we came back with the most when we conceded we win the game. Progressive passing and our counter attacking was, was was massive that year. So I think it's it's probably that we felt like when we play at our best we could we could have beaten any team. So what are the main differences between that and and the Championship? I think the Championship is is a lot more. Fast pace. Quite a lot of few teams will, in the Prem will, will sit off and just kind of play the tactical game. But the Championship is kind of 100 mile an hour and anyone can beat anyone in that league. And was this the season that you got uh, an England cap as well? Yes, it was. The first time I was in their squad was when I was wearing the 21s and then it me, Dom and Angus Gunn went into the first team. What's it like playing with, you know, and training with the likes of Sterling, Vardy, Rashford? I mean, is it just... Have you just got to get stuck in straight away or do you spend a few minutes going blimey like I've there's some absolute players here? Not really, I think you just you just go and it's another training session and everyone makes you feel welcome in, in there and I think most people who go there say the same thing. So Right, next season. Dribbling is now strongest asset over passing. I think that's probably a part of my game, my dribbling. I like to run with the ball a lot and but yeah, it's kinda of, I was really happy with this card, obviously going to gold. Annoyingly you obviously got an injury that season. What goes through your head when something like that happens and you kind of see the next few months out of the game. Yeah, it was obviously it was a, it was a massive part of my, my career and it was tough. But you see the amount of times it happens now in football, it's as a professional football, you, you play football with that risk that stuff like this might happen. So I kind of just saw it as a, a time to work hard. Like, I like to work as hard as I can. But yeah, it was tough. It was tough mentally. It was it was just I wanted to prove to myself and everyone else that I could come back from this and be the same player, but if not better. Going to last season, um, obviously a frustrating one 
for the club. You know, kind of when you came back from the injury, how quickly does it take you to to get confidence in being able to do what you know you can do? I feel like the first game I came in to the team, I was like, it was just pure adrenaline. And I was just so excited and, and, and happy and stuff. So I had a really good game. During the season, when you kind of get back into the team and stuff, and you, your body's not fully there, it takes, it takes how long you're out to, if you know what I mean, you're out for nine months, probably nine months longer to a year till you're fully back playing playing your best. So I feel like wow. end of last season or this season I've, I've been back at my best, I feel like. So it's, it's a long time really and it's tough. I didn't see that coming last year and I don't think many people did really. Could Can you put your finger on any particular reason why things didn't go so well last year? Um, it's a tough one really. Obviously it's happened now so you can talk about it. I think we just didn't get into our rhythm. Consistency is massive in, in the Premier League. Obviously, you need to win games and stuff like that. I think we look back on certain games where we should have won or should have picked up a point. It, it could have been completely different if we stayed up, but we wasn't scoring goals. We weren't creating chances. We were conceding. So, so your final card this season. I noticed. So in the Championship, I noticed there's only two centre midfielders with better passing, uh, which is Wayne Rooney and Will Hughes. I don't think that on 76, but yeah, it's a. That's, that's good. I, I, I take that, obviously. I'm two, two great players, obviously, Wayne Rooney really was, with his passing. How is it adapting to life in the Championship? And obviously, you naturally lose a few players and it becomes a bit of a, a newer, fresher start in eleven. Yeah, it's fine. I think it's, it's inevitable that people are going to gonna leave. And I think with, with other teams that go down, people leave them as well. So more games, week in, um, two a week is, is fun. We like it. We play football. We've had quite a few draws, which we want to turn into wins and climb to... The top, of the lead, the top of the leaderboard so yeah I think we're overall quite happy with it and looking forward to the future.